What would you do if you received a $3,000 power bill? I'm Nicole from LowIncomeRelief.com, where we help millions of people save money and get free stuff. Just this week, I saw a report from the Energy Information Administration that said that nearly a third of American households struggle to pay their power bills. They said that 25 million American households have to decide whether to buy food or pay their electric bill, or whether to buy medicine or pay their electric bill. And that's not a choice that anyone should ever have to make. But the report went on to say that nearly 7 million of those households have to make that choice almost every single month. I just want to let that point sink in for a minute. We're talking about 7 million households having to choose between keeping the power on or buying their life-saving medication, or putting food on the table, or keeping their power on. These are serious choices with serious consequences, and these are problems that I don't think anyone should ever have to face. Of course, I know firsthand what it's like to struggle with impossibly high power bills. A few years ago, I was shocked when I opened a $3,364 bill from PSE. I had no idea how we were going to pay off a balance that high. Fortunately, we were able to find help in the community. We were able to get some grants and pledges toward that balance. We were also able to get some weatherization assistance, which lowered our future power bills dramatically. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. Before we begin, I just want to let you know, if you're struggling with an impossibly high power bill, you can find help at lowincomerelief.com power. We're researching every power company state by state to find out what assistance programs are available to you when you need it most. And again, all that information is available at lowincomerelief.com slash power. I will never forget opening that $3,364 bill from Puget Sound Energy. It blew my mind. We had been paying our budget billing amount on time every month for the entire year. And I knew our settlement month was coming up and I expected there to be a balance, but I had no idea that it was going to be that high. Of course, there was no way we could pay that high amount by ourselves. At that point in time, we were relying on my husband's disability income to get by. And $3,364 was just ludicrous. It just wasn't going to happen. So today, I'm going to tell you how that high power bill led us to $2,300 in grants and pledges and $18,000 in free home improvements. When I talk to people about this, the first question I'm always asked is, how on earth did you get a power bill that high? Well, the story sounds like a comedy of errors. It's a mess. When I first contacted Puget Sound Energy about this bill, they called it the worst case of budget billing mismanagement they'd ever seen. Typically, you can't enroll in budget billing until you've lived in the same home for about a year unless you're working with a company that does their budget billing on a rotating cycle. Puget Sound Energy doesn't do that, and they still let us enroll after just a few months of living in the home. So what they did is base our payments on the previous homeowner's usage, which for us was a major mistake. The previous homeowners were an elderly couple, and we had a young family of seven with a very technology-driven life. So we used far more electricity than the previous homeowner had done. And on top of that, when they were setting up our account, the company only charged us half of what they were supposed to because of an issue in their calculations. And we didn't know any of this until it was far too late. You would think we would know that we were paying far less than we should have been. But in reality, we were still paying $300 on each bill. And that's about on par with what we'd been paying in our previous rental home. So it seemed to us that everything was fine until we got that enormous bill. The first representative I spoke to at the company was rightfully horrified about what had happened with our account. She was very apologetic and she promised that the company would work with us. When she escalated me to her supervisor, however, the best deal the company was willing to offer was three equal payments of just $1,121.33. Of course, during this time, 
They also wanted us to keep up on our new budget billing payments of about $800 a month. There was absolutely no way that my family could afford $2,000 a month in power bills. It just wasn't going to happen. Eventually, the company offered us five equal payments of just $672, but this was still far more than my husband and I could afford on his disability income alone. We weren't sure what we were going to do, but we knew that we were going to need a lot of help to get through this. As I said earlier in this video, we eventually received $2,300 in grants and about $18,000 in free home improvements. All of this assistance came from three amazing community agencies, and that's what I'm going to tell you about now. My first call was to our local community action council. We set up an appointment and we were asked to bring a lot of documentation. We needed to bring our power bill, our income statements, our social security cards for everyone in the household, lots of different paperwork, but it was so worth it. In that first appointment, they gave us a thousand dollar pledge toward the power bill, which brought our balance down to $2,364. And then they also asked us if we wanted to receive weatherization assistance. Now the weatherization assistance didn't seem that important at the time because I was just blindsided by that enormous power bill and that's the only thing I was really focused on. But it turns out that in the long term, the weatherization assistance was worth so much more than the pledges we received. They came into our home, they installed about $18,000 in home improvements, including a heat pump, replacing floorboard heaters, um, they replaced windows, they added a whole bunch of insulation. They fixed up our older home and brought our monthly power bills down to just $150. It was absolutely life-changing. And all of that assistance was coordinated by our local community action council. Of course, this still left us with $2,364 to pay. So we took that same documentation that we had provided with the community action council, and we went to the county's veterans assistance fund. I've learned that many counties, I think most counties in America, have a Veterans Assistance Fund. These funds are set aside for low-income veterans and their families who have specific urgent needs. They don't help with all needs, but they do help with some needs. And one of the needs that our agency helps with is utilities. So we brought that paperwork in and they pledged an additional $800 toward our power bill, which left us with just $1,564 to pay. Around this time, a disgruntled neighbor called CPS on our family, although the accusation was completely ludicrous and was quickly deemed unfounded. The CPS caseworker asked if there was anything they could do for our family. I jokingly said, well, unless you're going to pay our power bill, I think we're probably fine. And that led to a discussion of this insane power bill that we had been dealing with. And I told her, that we had been to the Community Action Council and we'd been to the Veterans Assistance Fund and we were down to just over $1,500 left to pay. She called her supervisor and CPS pledged an additional $500 toward our power bill, which brought the balance we owed down to just $1,064. I took this new balance back to Puget Sound Energy and asked for that same five-month payment plan. That reduced our payment plan amount to $212 a month, which wasn't easy, but it was still possible. I also asked to be removed from budget billing because with the way they calculated budget billing, they were gonna average our entire last year's worth of usage for our new year's bills. And after the weatherization work that had been done, our bills were nowhere near that high. So with all of that in mind, we were able to go forward and keep the electricity on and not struggle with those high bills anymore. I realize that the majority of this video has been very specific to me and my family. I know that not all of you are veterans, not all of you are working with CPS, and hopefully not all of you are wrestling with $3,000 power bills. But I do know that many of our readers and viewers are struggling to keep the power on. You guys are struggling with inadequate heating and cooling and older energy inefficient homes like mine was. And that's why we're going through and researching all the power companies in America, state by state, to find out what help is available for you when you need it most. If you need help with your power bill, 
you can find help at lowincomerelief.com slash power. Need help? At Low Income Relief, we're dedicated to helping low-income families save money and get free stuff. If there's anything you need, subscribe to our channel and find all the ways we can help you at lowincomerelief.com. Have a great day.